Aquarius family, this is another impromptu. I was in the shower and I heard spirits say, do the Aquarius love reading. I also heard spirits say, um, <laughs> uh, love comes when you least expect it. I heard spirits say, um, uh, what was it? Um, um, I wasn't looking when I met you and now I can't stop thinking about you. Uh, <laughs> um, this message is ongoing ever since last night. So, um, I'm, I'm curious to see. And then I heard it again in the shower. I heard, um, I didn't intend on, on, on this. Um, I didn't expect, I didn't expect this. I didn't expect to meet you. Um, it, it feels like a love at first sight kind of situation. Um, souls recognizing each other kind of thing. Um, and a uh, message, strong message came last night is uh, love, true love and love comes when you least expect it. Um, I was just doing me when we met and now I can't stop thinking about you. So let's see what this is about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let me go ahead and say my prayer. Remember to take only what resonate and leave the rest for others. Um, don't try to make it fit. If it's confusing to you, the message is probably for somebody else. You will come to a, a different conclusion. If you um, try to make this fit, I am working on doing all the signs. I already have Libra Sagittarius done today. I was guided to do water signs. So we shall see where my energy is, but, um, I'm answering the call. When uh, I hear the call, I'm answering the call. I heard the call to do this reading. So here we are. All right, family. Thank you so much to everyone that has donated to the channel, donated decks that has liked, shared, subscribed, that has, uh, you know, donated in any way and scheduled personal readings with me. Um, the information to everything will be in the description box below on my website. I love you guys. All right, let's go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels. May this message reach everyone that needs it. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. All right. I'm going to split the deck here for Aquarius. A love message. What is the energy for Aquarius when, when it comes to love? We have feelings. Take time out to explore the deep emotions you are experiencing right now at this time. So I do feel like there are some feelings. There are some romantic feelings for some of you guys that you're being asked to explore. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I heard that. All right, let's see what else for Aquarius for when it comes to love. 11, 11, you could be seeing a lot of angel numbers and synchronicities that's guiding you towards lots of signs that's guiding you towards true love. So I do feel there's a lot of romantic stirrings and yeah, lots of synchronicities. Divine soul counterpart relationship is blessed with amazing moments of synchronicities. I am feeling that um, the, you're feeling some romantic stirrings in your heart at this time. All right. What else for Aquarius? We have rejoice. Okay. What is the energy here for Aquarius for love? Message for Aquarius when it comes to love. What's coming towards Aquarius when it comes to love? Love. <laughs> Love conquers all, family. Yes, 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 yes. And power of love. Wow, the power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. There may be some obstacles that's uh, preventing this from coming together here or hindering it or creating some. But Spirit said, look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. Let me get one more for the Aquarius Collective for love. 11, 11 again. And Cupid, didn't I say? 
I felt love in the, in the vibration. I felt love in the energy. I felt love in the air. Love is in the air when Cupid's around. So there is somebody spiritual. Your spiritual journey is starting with somebody here. Your strengths and weaknesses are being tested. Perhaps these obstacles that are in the way is keeping you both from coming together here. Okay. But, um, yeah, the power of love is like a magnet here. <laughs> I wasn't looking when I met you. I wasn't looking when I met you. It's, it, I keep hearing that. 1111 is an important number for twin flames. It symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul of soul counterparts. Okay? And we have power. Let's see what else wants to come through here for Aquarius when it comes to this. We have ten of swords here, so if you're 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 finally freeing yourself from a past situation and opening yourself up here to new love. Cupid struck somebody. Cupid struck somebody in the heart. Cupid struck you in the heart and them in the heart. It's like you 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 met your person or you're meeting your person, and uh, because you stayed in the vibration of love. Okay. What else for Aquarius? Aquarius family. I heard things are complicated. That's what I just heard. Things are complicated. This is the arrows of love again. Okay, message for Aquarius. The power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. We have things are moving a little slow here, but you are getting in some kind of offer here in love, a stable offer coming your way. Um, you are overcoming the obstacles. The path is being cleared here. This Knight of Pentacles moves slow, but they're, they're, they know where they're headed. They're headed towards the Ten of Pentacles. This person is steady and stable, dedicated, devoted. Um, they, they plan for the future. They're very cautious. But it's new, right? With this Ace of Pentacles. So you, you are being asked to have patience with this process. It's new with this, with this Ace of Pentacles. It's a, it's a new offer, okay? for you to plant i feel like the seed has been planted already here for some of you guys you already met this person the seed has already been planted and it's moving slowly it does need nurturing attention care love and energy for it to gl grow bloom and blossom into the ten of pentacles so the knight of pentacles is dedicated loyal devoted cautious uh careful very careful um because their 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 focus is stability and security and moving towards the ten of pentacles okay towards long-term security long term going the long haul the long distance okay what else so someone's coming with an offer for you what else for the aquarius collective an emperor an emperor aries taurus scorpio king of wands yeah somebody's taking charge here right under the power right under power okay so the power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together this person is a leader very masculine energy here um this person is your divine counterpart your divine masculine uh takes initiative takes control takes charge maybe an entrepreneur may have their own business very focused on their empire until you came along it lit up some kind of fire and passion within them yeah look at that they're determined they're determined here to to it could be dealing with a taurus or a libra or a pisces they're de very determined here to um come forward here it's like again they're magnetically pulled and drawn to you okay this is a spiritual connection can i have one more love is in the air when cupid's around and love does conquer all, family. Keep keep bringing yourself back to the vibration of love. Keep bringing yourself back to the frequency of love. If you wander away into the land of doubts <laughs> and fears and, you know, negative thinking, right? Just try to focus. You're, you're, you are a majestic, mystical portal. <laughs> <laughs> it's important that you out of anyone in this world focuses on what you do want <laughs> not what you don't want because you are a lean me manifesting machine okay <laughs> what else here 
Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles here. So this person may be uh, very much focused on work or you are, but I do see this person also very much focused on you and being very patient here, right? I, I heard spirits say taming themselves, being very patient here. This is, a, this is a connection that is growing over time with the Eight of Pentacles. A lot of time, energy, like I said, we need to put effort into this, right? For it to grow. A lot of time, energy, effort, dedication, and devotion. I feel like this person is working on clearing the path. Making it their way towards you. That's what they're focused on. They're being guided by uh, angels here. The angel numbers. Can I have... Uh, this is the angel of love is Cupid, right? Can I have... Uh, can you clarify the knight of pentacles for Aquarius... We have the Ten of Wands, and then we have three that wanted to jump. The Ten of Wands are the only ones that jumped upright. Yeah, here it is. We have um, a Knight, a Knight of Wands moving towards the Queen of Wands and a Queen of Cups here. So again, there's these. These are the obstacles, right? But the good thing is, the good news is, is that this person can't hold back anymore. I do feel like there has been some challenges, some obstacles, some burdens, some responsibilities, some things that this person has had on their plate in their life that has kept them, you know, from moving faster towards you. But it's the end of that with the 10 of wands. I do feel it is a burden for this person to be away from you. That's why we're conquering. We're conquering something here on the love conquers all, right? We're conquering something here to get to you, okay? So this 10 of wands is you know, um, when we hold back, right? Or this could also be baggage that this person is needing to release here from the past. But when we do hold back, you know, it causes delays. It causes even like an imbalance in our energy centers, in our bodies, in our life. When we don't listen to our intuition, this person is moving slowly because they're, they're carrying some kind of a load, here, this could be a, have, a weight on their consciousness, right? We have the Ace of Wands for right here under the Emperor for power. So passions ignited, lots of uh, sexual attraction here. Can I have one for the Emperor? The Knight of Cups, here they come. <laughs> yeah, this is a very strong connection here. Uh, the, you guys see, you know, you guys, it's, it's magnetic again, right? It's very magnetic here and it's a very fulfilling connection. So union is approaching here. Okay. I do feel it's the end of this 10 of wands that's, uh, you know, contributing to this person moving really slow. It's the end of this cycle. These obstacles are being removed. Um, I, this emperor, you know, I, <laughs> the emperor fell in love, the emperor's in their feelings. Okay. This is true love family with the lovers here. The lovers of Gemini energy. Uh, this is a very fulfilling, you know, uh, satisfying connection on all levels like ecstasy. Um, yeah, there's actually a card, uh, that says, uh, you know, that you light this person up like as far as in mind body soul spirit okay so this the angels brought this together here interesting because this card to me i don't know why maybe it's the little tree in the middle and these little reefs up here it kind of reminds me of christmas for some reason it looks like a christmas tree down there so that could be significant for you guys but somebody wants to come in and sweep you off of your feet here, okay? With this Knight of Cups, they want to romance you. So this Emperor here is having a hard time holding back with the Ten of Wands. This is somebody here that, you know, likes to have control, uh, domineering, right? Even, rigid even. And, uh, and it's like you make this person vulnerable, nervous, butterflies, I get. This person wants to put in you know, the time, the energy, and the effort to work on this, to build on this with you. Um, the lovers is a very beautiful energy of divine counterparts right here, right? You could be dealing with a soulmate twin flame here, definitely with the lovers. But it's like, I do feel like one look into your eyes and you activated this person. 
and their spiritual journey began, you know, uh, this person is in their feelings. That's probably what, you know, the, the connecting with your feelings or your emotions is about when we saw earlier, right? And um, they, they're they focused on you. They have their eye on you. They are focused. They want to be with you. Okay. With this Knight of Pentacles, that's where they're headed. They're headed towards you with this long, this offer of long term. This Knight goes for the long haul, long term here. They're clearing the path. They're clearing the way here to come towards you. Wow. I'm getting that this emperor here is all the way in their feelings when it comes to you. Okay. Um, again, feeling love, right? The power of love is like a magnet. They can't stay away. They can't, you know, um, they're so drawn to you. They can't, let go, leave this alone, uh, stop watching you, you know, stop thinking about you. Uh, eight of pentacles. And I feel you feel this. I feel like you're feeling this person when they think of you. There's a very strong telepathic connection here. Um, something about eye contact. Yeah, the lovers is a big choice, a big decision. They're in the process of making a huge decision when it could. This is true love, by the way, with the lovers here. This is true love. You could be dealing with somebody that has Scorpio in their chart or is a Scorpio. Um, this connection is transforming for sure. Um, this person has probably have been going through a transformation, 1111, a spiritual awakening. Can you please clarify the Eight of Pentacles? The Eight of Pentacles for me is somebody that's very focused, that's uh, paying close attention to every detail, that is um, working on something here, right? Wanting to uh, dedicate time, energy, effort, devotion, commitment here. That's the Eight of Pentacles and patience. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles. The wheel of fortune. So major change, major change. We have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. This was the obstacle. This was the challenge, the push and pull here, you know, could be outside interference as well. Um, you know, conflict. We weren't seeing eye to eye. We weren't on the same page. You know, um, it could be an inner war, inner battle here, but I feel like it, this was what it, what, what it's been, right? This is what it's been. It's like, uh, I I'm, I'm getting that this person may have been somebody that was an avoidant, uh, attachment style, you know, um, they come and they go. It's like, they feel the pain of your absence and they miss you and they're drawn back to you. But then when it's time to feel vulnerable, they'll pull away you know, time to get vulnerable. When they start to feel vulnerable, start to feel these emotions, they pull away. Uh, with the five of wands, I'm getting that that's their mind and heart. I feel like it's a tug of war. I feel like, yeah, yeah. It's like this. It's like mind and heart here. Okay. There is a lot of love that you both feel for each other, but I do feel like one or both of you keep projecting your fears and limitations onto each other. Yeah, um, I'm getting here that um, this this tug of war with the heart and the mind, right, um, is what it's it's what's creating this delay. But the wheel of fortune is here, so this this is there's a turning point in this connection. Um, there is uh, an opportunity here for if we do put in the time, the energy, and the after af, uh, sorry, the time, energy, and effort, eight of pentacles into this, that there is an opportunity for growth and expansion, a lot of fortune, a lot of luck. This is a destined and faded connection here with the wheel of fortune and the wheel of fortune is turning. You're on the wheel. So expect change. Okay. There's change coming in. I feel like this person can't hold back anymore. Ten of wands. It's a burden holding back. Okay. Because they can't stop thinking about you. They feel your energy around them. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Can I have one for the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Pentacles? What is this change? Death card again. So a major transformation and a major change. This person may have been resisting change for a while. But it's like they were just delaying the inevitable. Change is here. Uh, again, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Sagittarius, Aries, Gemini, any earth sign any water sign as well, any fire sign. But anyway, um, we have, uh, doesn't, doesn't have to be, we could just be embodying that energy. We have a little bit of everything in our chart. 
Um, so there is a, some kind of an ending that's taking place possibly in their life. Um, and that's what they're going through a major change could be in work area in their life. Um, but expect powerful change here. Okay. I do feel that love conquers all and it transforms all. I do feel that this love was unexpected as I said, and, um, and it has completely like this person has been releasing old versions of themselves. They have uh, been releasing, needing to release a lot of things here that they have been carrying around and holding on to so that they can expand and grow and evolve, uh, with the, with the wheel of fortune here so that they can, they have to be able to release and transform and, and, and allow for these changes so that they can, start a new cycle in their life so that they can go into a new timeline so that they can, um, you know, uh, I guess, uh, you know, come into alignment with their purpose, their destined path, their North node. Okay. And I do feel that's what they're working on slowly here. Um, I do have a Knight of Wands. This is a somebody that's taken inspired action that has a very strong sexual attraction. A play could be a, a player kind of energy, and that's what needs to change and transform. I do feel that this connection is transforming and changing somebody that you know has been kind of immature when it comes to connections and love. They just uh, in it for a good time, not for a long time, until they met their true love here. Again, I wasn't looking when I met you, right? That's the, that's the energy. And it's like, now I can't stop thinking about you. And, um, and, uh, it might have started off, uh, pa real passionate, you know, like a whirlwind romance, but then, you know, now we're like feelings have developed and now we're like, you know, I can't not miss out on this opportunity here for true love with this person. I need to come correct. I need to open up and show this person how I really feel about them with cups energy, with emotion, right? I do feel this person probably shows how they feel through passion. Uh, this is a very flighty night, not, not as stable as the night. The only night here that really gets to the 10 of pentacles is the night the, the knight of pentacles, right? Slow and steady here. Um, I do feel like that's what's transforming in this person. This person probably is a kind of person that's in the, always in the nine of wands, always up for an adventure and passion, you know, up, enjoys a challenge, enjoys the chase, you know, um, comes and goes as they in and out of your life comes and goes as they please here. And now this person is changing and transforming and, um, doing some kind of work here, uh, possibly within wor working within, uh, inner work, inner work is what I meant. Eight of pentacles here. And now this person is slowing down is taking this seriously. You know, they have met the one and found the one that's what it looks like. So it's like this old uh, ways of them being here is just not going to fly. It's just not going to work. Not with you. You were holding back here when it comes to your love because you're in self-love energy. You, um, nine of pentacles, queen of cups, um, you're in self-love energy here. So it's like you have your own cup of love. You're emotionally independent, emotionally balanced. You're an empowered empath. You are physically independent as well here. And you are very protective over what you built, what you created, your healing. You're in this beautiful energy of love, which is why I did say, I did feel the vibration of love, the romantic stirrings of your heart is what's calling this in, what's attracting this in. I do feel the queen of cups here, very psychic, very intuitive, probably into the arts here, an empath, a healer, very loving energy. You have a lot of light, a lot of love to give. And it's like this person knows that they can't come to you in this energy anymore because you're not, you're very protective and guarded over your energy. You're holding back your, your, your love from this person until you get, you know, uh, a real legitimate offer of security and stability. You can't, you're not reckless with your heart anymore. You became very empowered with this healing journey that you've been on. You do have love and emotion for this person, but you are more tempered, self-disciplined, self-control. You have more control over your emotions. You're emotionally grounded, emotionally stable. Okay. And, um, 
it doesn't mean you can't love somebody from a distance or care about them from a distance but it's like if this person isn't sh is showing up in this way here right the knight of wands which is flighty inconsistent in and out of your life coming in for a good time not a long time then you're not going to invest you're not going to open your heart to this person you and this is the thing i feel like you're not in the energy of you want you don't want to hold back you don't want to hold back from falling in love because you're ready for love you know especially with this kind of connection that's magnetic and so strong it's telepathic right you don't want to hold back this person's going to try a different approach here with you it looks like this approach here you know this the flirtations the sexual talk to coming in for a passion there's a lot of passion here look at this power energy there's a lot of passion there's a lot of excitement there's a lot of playfulness there's a lot of attraction and chemistry insane chemistry with this person and it, it is even hard for you to hold back from this person here because of how you feel about them but you have grown so much when it comes to your self-love self-care your worthiness and um that you are you have a very high um threshold here for for you know your inner strength right when it comes to your you've done you've done a lot of work as hard as it is for you and it's like the more you you know hold back and pull away it's like the more you feel this person's energy within you become stronger and stronger and stronger it's like you feel the pull you feel them pulling on your energy okay and um because you're in this very beautiful psychic connected to your emotions you're in flow energy feminine energy of flow compassion and even forgiveness okay and unconditional love i do feel like you want to open up to this person you want to love this person but right now you have to hold back because um you know because you can't you can't risk it you can't put your you can't risk it you can't risk your heart you um been through too much to open up to somebody that is um, in and out of your life, that is emotionally available, that isn't showing up for you, that isn't consistent, especially even with the basic stuff that isn't giving you the time, energy and effort, eight of pentacles uh, that you deserve, right? And that you are worthy of. So it looks to me like this person here is going through an ending, is going through some kind of major cycle change in their life. Um, could be work, could be the, if there's a third party, could be that as well. And, um, and getting ready here to come towards you with this, with this ace of pentacles, with this offer of stability and security. I want to get more information on this. And that's what this person is like. You're trans, this player is changing and transforming because this player fell in love. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they met their person that is their true love. And, um, and now their whole world came upside down. If you have already hooked up with this person, right? If you had already hooked up with this person, it was the hookup of a lifetime. It was like the hookup that changed their whole world forever. Uh, the kid, their, their whole tower came crumbling down, you know? And, um, <laughs> and it's like, now they just can't stop thinking about you. They can't get you out of their mind. Okay. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> Give me, uh, clarify this emperor for Aquarius. Yeah, paradise. They feel so much joy, oneness, enjoying each other. You guys have a lot of fun together. You know, like I said, you can be yourself with this person. It's very playful and childlike energy. Um, lots of happiness. You make this person really happy, okay? Expansion right here with the Wheel of Fortune. They have been ascending and growing. When they think of you, they can't help but smile. Um, so again, this person wants to come forward and enjoy you. They want to have a cup of coffee, meet, to converse. Um, this is a friendship that's leading to more. I feel like you guys have been developing a friendship. What else for the Aquarius to uh, collect? Come, no, 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 no. Uh, emperor, clarify the emperor. Heart with the key. Yeah, this person met the one. You meeting the one here, okay? Open your heart, getting together. This person's heart is opening up, okay, to to you. They Again, they met their true love. I can't make this stuff up. We have your boat receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure. 
yeah there so this person could be moving on from a karmic relationship or you're moving on from a karmic relationship here okay um that's what the delay here is i want to get some messages from this actually before i do that can i have one for the knight of cups knight of cups passion so much passion i did say that okay uh insane chemistry like each other equally and having fun yeah it's really hard it's a burden for you and this person to be apart it's like you want to feel this passion with this person you want to feel your bodies unite as one here okay um you want to feel this person's touch their kiss their warmth you know you want to you want to connect with this person in this way but you know it's hard for you to hold back because you know um i do feel that this person here again they can't stay away from you right um you guys are in separation right now it feels like it's looking like but um they want to stop this pattern of coming chasing again of in and out coming and going right the runner and the chaser here yeah they want to come in so badly towards you here okay they're magnetically drawn they're so attracted to you in every way they think you're so beautiful inside and out um can I have one on this emperor, please? Can I have one on this emperor? Yeah, this person has been guarded, you know, uh, for a while. And now here they come. <laughs> Lots of passion. The power of love is like a magnet. So magnetic souls drawing each other together here. They can't stay away. They can't let this go. Give me one on this emperor. Clarify this emperor for the Aquarius Collective. Yeah, this person has just been really busy. Children could be involved here. That could be the delays here, right? They see they see how their focus on material things hasn't made them happy and only holding them back from love. Building an empire. So that's what this, you know, emperor, the emperor builds an empire. That's what I said. That's what they've been busy doing. Eight of Pentacles here. But it's like they know that something needs to change uh, because they're, they're falling in love or they fell in love, okay? And... Um, and they, they can't like again, they meet they met the one. They're they're welcoming love in, opening their heart here, okay? Children could be involved, but they are in the process of breaking free. They are freeing themselves from their self imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them from you. Okay, tell me more about this emperor. I believe this is new love family, okay? Um I I don't I don't believe that this is somebody that um you had 10 of swords with, three of swords with. I feel this is somebody that you met after this healing journey you've been in. For some of you guys, that's the case. We're helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring to light all that has been hidden. Yeah, this person is going through a major transformation and awakening here when it comes to you and this connection, okay? And, it, and it's creating a lot of tower moments in this person's life. The Wheel of Fortune is a major change. They're going through a major change in their life here, okay? Um, major ending so that they can um, embrace th their destiny and open up to receive what destiny has in store for them. What else? Yeah, they've been having a lot of fears that are unfounded. Give me one for this emperor uh, when it comes to Aquarius. They're going through some kind of an ending in their life, okay, at this time. I, I do feel like... Um, they th you or somebody here they don't want to let you slip away okay they don't want to let you slip away they do see how powerful and magical you are we see the witch here <laughs> they they don't understand that this is a divine connection right that they're it's, they're magnetically drawn to you they feel like you might have put on some kind of spell on them they don't want this to end with you okay um which it can if they don't put time energy and effort and devote time energy and effort you you're doing so good here on your own with this self-love energy Energy here that um that if they don't put time energy and effort into this you know they you're going to be the one that got away and they don't want that to happen that's why they're coming in here to offer you this um this pentacle okay can i have one more for this emperor things are brewing up family they're plotting right now look chess this is a master strategist <laughs> this is a master they, they do have a dark side okay that they don't want you to know or see um but again unconditional love right we all have a past and we all have um sh shadow as long as we're conscious and aware of it and choose to operate from our higher self be ready to expect the unexpected 
right here, this person about to surprise you um, because something is brewing and it's gaining momentum. They're stepping up their, their game to get your attention. Okay, they're plotting uh, because they know you have plenty of other options and this person has you on a pedestal. Yeah, they are in love with you. You're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear, unfounded fear that makes this person run. They do not want you to be the one that got away here, okay? Uh, but they are going through some kind of ending in their life. I want to know what this emperor wants to say to the Aquarius Collective. Look, I, got, I love you at the bottom of the deck. Meeting you was unexpected. You, uh, you know, um, I, I feel like they are losing their old identity here, old identity here with their, with a death card. This is somebody that can be a little, a little stubborn. Okay. That's why it's taking so long, um, is that their, their, their whole world is changing here. Okay. With the death card and the wheel of fortune ever since they met you. Look, this person was in denial, but now. Not anymore. They're seeing things clearly now. They see exactly who their true love is. Okay, and they're coming with their cup. <laughs> Tell me here about this emperor. What does this emperor want to say to the Aquarius Collective? I want to make things right. And we are working together in the astral. So yeah, you feel this person's energy. What does this emperor want to say to Aquarius? It's a burden for them not to make things right. This person may have hurt you. They're feeling guilt and regret, okay? Um, to to them, you could be this this person that got away, but they want to make things right. They want to come in here and they're being drawn back to you, okay? They're sorry they can't be there for you in the way that you want. They're sorry that, you know, they haven't, you know, they, they treated you like this, right? They were in and out. They were player energy. Yeah, they're going through a lot of changes. I'm scared. Too many changes too fast right here. So this person is, yeah, I miss you dearly. They want to see you. They want to talk. They want to get together here. You make this person so happy. You are the light right here with this paradise, with the sun and the beach and the palm trees. Happiness, expansion, joy, you and playfulness. You're, you light up this, you're the best part of this person's day. You light up this person's life, their day. Okay, you're a light. Again, this person has darkness here within them. They are very much attracted to the light. It's like a breath of fresh air, a tall glass of water. Uh, you know, it's like heaven, right? It feels heavenly. It feels like heaven being around you. Okay, you are an earth angel. That's why. What else does this emperor want to say to Aquarius? I wasn't looking when I met you. And now I can't stop thinking about you. I keep hearing that. What does this emperor want to say? I feel heartache. So again, they're going through some endings. They're going through some changes here with this death card. They're missing you, you know, and it's like, and that's what's the power of love is what's drawing you, you both together. It will happen in divine timing. I know you are my soulmate. I don't want to run anymore. We're talking about a runner chaser. I'm speaking my truth. I miss you dearly. Can I have one more for this emperor? What this emperor wants to say to Aquarius? I am restless and anxious. You are my queen. You, they have you on a pedestal. You're the queen of their heart. The queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them run. They're plotting right now to come towards you here. And they are feeling a little restless and anxious because, and a little nervous. You make them nervous. Because, um, you know, uh, they're getting ready to come forward and because they're not following their intuition right here, 10 of wands, I was just guided to this deck here. What else here does this, uh, emperor want to say to Aquarius? So their heart is opening. If they're feeling heartache, that means they're healing. Their heart is opening. What does this emperor want to say to Aquarius? I'm going to be doing a twin flame reading for Patreon for Aquarius Collective. So look out for that. What does this uh, emperor want to say to Aquarius? You feel like home to me. Yeah, this person may have ghosted you. Um, being with you reminds, that's probably how they hurt you here. They ran. 
Um, being with you reminds me of simpler times. You bring me so much happiness and peace. There you go. The, the happiness. You make this person really happy. I told you guys. Uh, what else here? So this person is single. So they probably went through this ending already. Okay. I'm single. That's probably why they feel heartache because they probably are closing out some kind of karmic cycle with somebody. They had an ending here with somebody here. Um, um, I'm single. I'm not attached to anyone and not looking to get into a relationship at this time because there's this person is in the healing. Okay. But they, it's like they're, they're healing, but they don't want to lose you at the same time. So they kind of trying to will, you know, pull you back in kind of trying to stay in touch, trying to still see you so that they don't let you so that you don't slip away so that they don't lose you for good. That's their fear of you moving on to somebody else. Uh, where was it? Right here, because they know you have other options. So they're going to try to make a comeback here towards you so that you don't move on to somebody else because they're taking so long here to release this 10 of wands, which is whatever that they're, it's, it's coming up for them in their heart, whatever emotions is coming up for them to release. Right now I'm in a space where I need to focus on my healing and self-love. This isn't about you. It's about me. So that's why that they're not, um, that they just want to be single right now. Um, because that's why it's taken a while here <laughs> because they're focusing on themselves. They're focusing on their healing, which is good. We want them to have self-love, right? And to heal from codependency. So, and from abandonment wounds. So there's no running, no more chasing, no more, you know, uh, unhealthy attachments and things like that. Okay. So that's that for this person. I'm going to get here what else they want to say from this twin flame uh messages and then we'll get guidance for you from the romance angels we'll get guidance for you from the romance angels and from um the lovers the lovers oracle so this person is going through a lot of changes right now in their life they're healing and they need time to finish this their healing and that's what they're probably working on here with this eight of pentacles. But man, do they want to come forward right now? Do they want to just be in your energy, taste your energy, taste your light? Do they want the, your healing energy, your, your love, your comfort here, queen of cups? Boy, do they want that real bad? They want that real bad. It's like... Because they're, you know, healing. They could be Scorpio energy doing some shadow work. They're probably in a, in a, in a dark place right now. Feel heartache. They're afraid. They're feeling restless and feeling anxious. It's like you, you calm this, this person down. You bring them peace. You bring them love. You're light here. Okay. It's like they really want to be in your energy really badly. So they're going to change their approach. They're going to change their approach to be in your energy. Okay. It's like they're, they're feeling a little burden because it's like they want to be with you, but they're not feeling ready to be with you because of this. Uh, they probably just became single, you know, and it's like, you don't definitely don't want to jump in from one situation to the next right away. There needs to be time in between to get your life in order to find yourself to, you know, reclaim your own, you know, your identity, discover who you are, you know, there's a, it's so important to, to, to leave space between relationships to heal, right? To uh, clear the old energy completely. And uh, that's very codependent when somebody jumps from one situation to the next. That means you can't be alone, which means you're bringing the baggage, the toxicity from the past relationship into the new relationship. And um, you're not healed, you know, you're, you still have cords attached there to the past, right? This person, that's what this person is working on releasing here with the 10 of wands. It's not healthy to, to go from without healing, fully healing, you know, from the past relationship to jump from one relationship to the next. Okay. So it's like this person here, their plan is to be with you, to come forward towards you when they feel ready to do so, when they're feeling, you know, when they're, when they're not feeling whatever's going on in their heart space right now, um, whatever it is that they're releasing. Okay. This person was in denial. They have some toxic patterns, right? 
here that has some toxic patterns that they're they're not very mature okay uh when it comes to emotions vulnerability or even love they're they're leaving a situation behind here that didn't challenge them to grow because it wasn't a lover's type of situation you know it was karmic um a false flame or whatever it is right that it didn't really um support or challenge this person's evolution of the soul until you came along and that's <laughs> and that's why this person is going through so many changes in their life all right what does this uh that's why this person is going through so many changes in their life internal changes and external changes spiritual transformation right changes destined and faded changes here so patience is needed here when it comes to this but know that their plan is to to come to you to you know night night of pentacles right their plan is when they're ready is to be with you and they plan on coming back and returning to you you know um when when they're when they can look i miss you let's both stop running away this person misses you um when they're ready to provide or when they're ready when they're feeling more stable more solid more secure in their own energy in their life you know um when they're feeling stronger in who they are so that that growth this person is experiencing a lot of growth right now the growth is not to run anymore not to be in this knight of pentacles energy i'm sorry not knight of pentacles knight of wands energy this person is restless we have three knights here we have three different energies it's like they they they, they want to come but then they stop themselves then they temper themselves and then they feel burdened then they want to you know come come towards you again it's like they're everywhere with their emotions and their energy and they need to be a little bit more stable uh more emotionally grounded emotionally stable when it comes to making these important decisions in their life what does the emperor want to say to aquarius i don't i don't i feel like i don't deserve your love I'm worried you'll leave me when you see who I really am. Darkness, dark side. Uh, they have a dark side that no one knows and feels it's their true side, but afraid to show you. Um, this person never really, it's a pattern. I'm seeing my toxic patterns. It's a pattern of theirs um, to run uh, before people really be, unravel them you know, and see through them. This person never really experienced unconditional love. They don't know what that is until they met you this is an unconditional love type of relationship yeah i've been grounded all my life it's hard for me to trust the spiritual element of this connection yet i can't deny that they exist uh huh there it is yeah they can't 11 11 this person's already seeing angel numbers probably there we go i know in my heart they will be together one day. That's this, That's what keeps this person going, actually, is that belief, right? Is that confidence that you guys will be together one day. That's what inspires this person, motivates this person to keep going in the midst of all of this craziness, change that they're experiencing in their life. They're, it's like, it feels like they're doing it all for this, to be with you one day. You know, and it's like the Knight of Pentacles. They're headed your way, headed walking home to you really slowly, right? And that help that helps me to. Tr I know in my heart we'll be together one day, and that helps me to trust. Let's keep working on us. I do feel like the affirmations, the meditation that you're doing, is helping you to prepare and become ready for when this comes in. Okay, and it's like it's patience here right so it's like healing codependency is not not really desperately feeling like you have to have somebody right now you know in your life enjoy being on your own because when this person is ready and they come in you're you're going to be sharing your life with this person you're not going to be <laughs> on your own anymore you know but that doesn't mean you're not going to still work on yourself while you're together with this person but it's like this person's vision their goal their dream is to be with you and knowing that feeling within themselves, that confidence is what dry is what's driving this person to keep going. It's like everything they're doing, they're doing it for you to be with you. 
but it's also helping them heal as well, helping them come out of their shell, helping them evolve and ascend this work that they're doing. So, um, but it, you really, it, you are really being asked to trust and have faith that this person is trusting. They need to, they need to feel deserving of you, of your love. They have you on a pedestal. They need to see themselves as the emperor. They need to put themselves on a pedestal here. Okay. They really do need to, to work on self-worth and self-esteem here, because I do feel like, uh, that's one of the, one of the things here that's keeping this person from coming forward here towards you is, um, their need here to work on their self to feel worthy and deserving. I feel like you may intimidate this person a bit, which is pushing them to grow. Th again, I keep hearing spirits say this belief of theirs that they're going to, I know in my heart, this very confident energy. That's how we manifest is knowing, right? And having that feeling that we will be together one day. I know in my heart that we'll be, that you, we will be together one day. I know in my heart, that's what, that's my plan. That's what I'm moving towards. I'm clearing the way for us. I'm clearing the way for us. All this work that I'm doing, all of these changes that I'm making is because I met you, the one, I met the one you're inspiring me. You're inspiring me to create, to, to make these changes, to grow, to evolve, to ascend, to heal. You're inspiring me, you know, and challenging me here because you are my queen. There's no one else for me, but you, there's no one else for me, but you, you're the one, you're the one for me. And I'm doing my best. I'm working towards, yes, I'm moving slowly because I've been grounded all of my life and I'm trying to figure out this, uh, spiritual connection. I'm moving slowly, but I am moving towards you. Trust and believe that I am moving towards you. You're the reason why that this person is doing all of this. They know in their heart that they're going to be with you one day. It's right now it's killing them. It's really hard. And it is a burden for both of you to be away from each other, especially when you feel the magnetic and you feel the pull of coming together here. You know, it's very hard. And that's what sometimes makes them kind of come in, <laughs> come in. And then they, they're, they're faced with this. They come in, they try to come in like this. Because they can't take it anymore. Some with the Ten of Wands here. They come in and they come face to face with your self-love here. With you being guarded, right? And then they, they leave again. Because this energy here. Um, this energy challenges them, you know, to open up, to be vulnerable. And they're, they're still, <laughs> they're still in this energy of like not ready to do that yet right but again they're slowly getting there with this with this knight of cups they're slowly getting there because love conquers all because the power of love is like a magnet okay they can't stay away and they can't let you go so it's like they're figuring out a way to make this work to come towards you and to be with you but they know that they can't be with you the way that they were Okay, because you hold this person accountable. You hold this person accountable. You show up in my dreams. It helps me process buried memory. So the telepathy is really strong with this person. So you just really got to have patience. This is true love, family. They're uh, leaving this unrequited love situation that they've been in for a while. All right. What is the guidance for Aquarius? What is the guidance for Aquarius? What is the guidance for Aquarius when it comes to this? Yeah. So they'll be back. They will always be back. This, you guys are magnetically drawn to each other. Okay. They're on their way back. But Spirit is saying, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And that's what the boundaries that you set with this person, Four of Pentacles, it's what is bringing this person, um, you know, uh, it's it's what's challenging them to, to change and evolve. And also what makes them even more attracted to you, okay? Uh, because they know how you feel about them. They know that you're extremely, 
that you're extremely attracted to them, that you even have emotions, that you care about them, that you would like, you would like for things to be different, that you, you would love nothing more, but to sleep with them, wake up with them, cuddle with them, you know, feel your bodies unite as one. However, they also admire your strength and your self-love and your self-worth. Yes. And like I said, this is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Wow. <laughs> What's under that? Finances and career, the building of the empire, the building of the empire. You want this person to come stable, right? Uh, and not dependent on you for anything, you know? Uh, you want this person to heal from their abandonment wounds. That's why they run, by the way. They're probably an avoidant attachment style person. Definitely learn about the attachment styles. You want this person to um, come in ready and sure. Ready and sure about you. Okay. Um, what guidance do you have for Aquarius regarding this emperor? Sexual union. I told you. I told you guys that you guys want this. They want this real bad. <laughs> they want your to feel your bodies unite as one. Uh, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss, sexual unity. You know, they might come back and try to seduce you. With, uh, which is very hard to say no to this person because you love this person or you have strong love, strong feelings for this person. Um, this is a past life soulmate, by the way. Look, my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we're always united. So get rid of the separation that's very 3D. You can feel this person's energy all the time, which is what, what makes it harder, right? Which is what makes it harder. <laughs> to be away from them is because you feel them it feels like torture <laughs> you feel them all the time um we are always united for love transcends space and time nothing is missing nothing so you guys may like um spend time with yourself uh while you think about them or they do okay because you guys become one tele telepathically that way as well you can feel the sexual energy that they send you that this person sends you here, okay? And uh, the sexual attraction is really strong. You might shake when you see this person even. They might, when they touch you, you may feel your body warm up, like electricity run through you. Um, but yeah, you're gonna be tested and challenged uh, when this person comes back to love yourself first. Clarify this emperor, this emperor's energy towards Aquarius devotion a dedicated partner whose love is unconditional and eternal their love for you is unconditional and eternal okay yeah didn't i tell you sexual healing they want you bad 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 and you want them bad i don't know how long it's been for you aquarius sexual energy can be used to reconnect let your bodies release some tension and enjoy pleasure Ooh, that's going to be up to you guys there's that's twice here this person wants to make love to you that's how they want it. That's how they probably show you how they feel about you is through making love. It's hard. It's hard. Spirit wants you to have faith, trust, and believe that love is here to stay this time around. Don't let fear or doubt interfere and trust the divine. Can I have one more? So this person is working on having faith. They are having faith. I know in my heart we'll be together one day. That helps me to trust. Let's keep working on us. Give me one for this... Uh, emperor's energy towards aquarius wow i'm feeling this love is so strong family yeah reconciliation wow heavy on that reconciliation twice for confirmation someone finally sees the answers that they owe that was always right in front of their face in front of their eyes their vision is clear so therefore what's to come is clear too they know you're the one Okay, meeting the one. They know that you're the one that they're going to end up with. They're, you're the one that they're going to be with. They're just getting themselves together and getting themselves right for that. Right? Be open to someone returning and wanting to work things out. You're about to be tested, it feels. This person's going to come in. They're going to try to seduce you. Huh? That's probably why they feel so nervous and anxious is because they're getting ready to make their move. I have, they're trying to figure out which, uh, which approach. Let me calm down. They're saying, let me calm down. <laughs> let me calm down. Which one of these approaches here is going to work that, that she's going to open up and let me in. Right. Definitely the, the, the Knight of cups is a good approach. I would say, <laughs> especially if you're coming towards the queen of cups, right? Uh, emotions. Um, but yeah, wow. 
Wow, what a beautiful reading. I love this reading so much. I will see you guys really soon. I love you. God bless you. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Namaste, family. Much love.